Raise your hand if you've made a New Year's resolution to get fitter this year and you just haven't stuck to it. Yeah, most of us make those resolutions at some point and we just cannot seem to be motivated enough to do it or to keep it up. So typically we will hire a health coach and that kind of gets expensive. I mean, coaches go for $50 an hour or right up to $1,200 packages. But we need them. We need those coaches because they keep us on track. They make sure we're going to hit those milestones. They make sure we're going to hit those goals and they shout at us when we don't do it. But with all those fees, it gets expensive really, really quickly. Well, what if I can tell you that on the Galaxy phone, you actually have got a built-in coach that's going to do exactly that. And it's free. And on top of that, if you want to go see a doctor and you need an appointment and you don't want to physically leave your house, you can actually do it through the phone as well. Well, today, it's all about being healthy with your Galaxy S phone. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, let's get started. So, go and look for the Samsung folder and look for an app called the Samsung Health. Once you've given us permission, you accepted the terms and conditions, the first thing you're going to do is create a profile for yourself. Hit the little guy at the top and you're going to go through a little setup process. So here you're going to choose your gender, you're going to choose your height, you're going to choose your weight, you're going to choose your age. So basically everything is going to be customized and tailored specifically for you. Then what kind of activities do you do every day? Do you do absolutely nothing, a little bit, uh, more than a little bit, or are you heavily exercising? Again, all these factors will help in identifying the kind of stuff that you should be doing. Go back to the main screen once you've created the profile, three little dots at the top, and then click on Manage Items. Here are all the options that you can enable or disable depending on the kind of health stuff you want to track. So the only one you cannot disable is the number of steps, but everything else is basically fair game. Enable, disable, enable, disable, as you see fit. For example, if you're trying to lose weight, you should enable the weight management option and there it's going to ask you a bunch of questions like your current weight, what kind of weight goal you're trying to get to, select that. And next up is going to say to you, how quickly do you want to lose this kind of weight? How aggressive do you want to be? Right, now that you've set your goals, what it will do is everything will be catered around that. Here's what I mean. Go back to the main screen and you see this little graph that says weight management and now it's going to tell you if you keep eating like you are, not exercising like you are, you're already over the calorie counter, you're never going to get there. So a very cool representation, graphic visual representation, kind of that's going to really motivate you to get back onto track again. Okay, let's go back to the main menu again. And of course, you can customize your settings like you want them to be. So I like to move things near the top, the stuff that I'm going to use more often. So for example, I'm tracking my coffee intake. I want to be able to add it as I need it right at the top. Right, the food intake one. This is really, really smart. So you select the kind of food that you're having. So let's just say it's breakfast. And let's put in cereal. It's going to list all the brands that it's got available to it. And you can simply put a little tick mark next to it and it will add it to your daily food intake. And of course, being on a mobile phone, me you have it wherever you happen to be. In which case, you can keep it up to date and as accurate as much as humanly possible. Next up, we can track our sleep. We know that a good night's sleep is really going to help with our mental health and our physical health as well. So I can rate my sleep, what time I went to bed, how was that sleep? And I can go into the three little dots at the top and then set targets. So I can say, I want to get a good eight hours sleep. How am I doing? I can measure my heart rate as well using just the sensor at the back. This happens to be on the Galaxy S10, but the same sensor is actually there on other phones like the S9. In fact, I've actually got it on the S6 Edge as well. So this has been here for a while. Right, it basically measures your heartbeat based on your finger and the pulse that's coming through your finger. And then we go 70 beats per minute. So here's where it gets really interesting. We know that we hold ourselves more accountable when we are faced with a comparison to other people. So you can actually work out together. You can see how you're doing compared to the larger group size and they do take your age and all those details into account. So it's you versus kind of everybody else. Now you can actually invite a friend and you can work out with a friend or you can actually do a challenge. This is actually pretty neat. Select challenges. Then you can select a friend and you can kind of do a challenge like who's going to get the most number of steps. What's the target for the day? And you can set all that and you can start your challenge. It's one versus one. Another really cool use of gamification is that you can accept a, this one happens to be the desert April challenge. 
And the more you walk, the more healthier you are, the more exercise you do, the more stars you're going to be collecting and then you move along inside the game. Next up, hit the button that says experts. Now, under experts, you've got two options, symptom checker or a doctor's visit. Let's start with a symptom checker. Once you accept the terms and condition, essentially it's a bot. It's going to ask you a bunch of questions and based on your responses, it's going to give you certain information. So let's try it. What kind of male or female? So let's start there. And then what is the next question? Right, what symptom do you have? So I'm going to click on the button. And now I'm going to put in something, I don't know, headache. Let's do that. And then based on my answer, it's going to go ahead, it's going to start making, asking questions. Is it in the front? Is it the back? How severe? Did you experience it immediately? Blah, 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 blah. And based on that, it's going to give me some sort of recommendation. Okay, so let's get out of that. Right, if you want to see a real live doctor and actually get real consultation, it actually does that as well. It has the option to speak to a real expert. Um, and this is like the whole telemedicine thing coming to life. So you'll be able to be connected with someone who's going to really help you, like going to make an appointment and physically going to see a doctor. No reason why you can't do it through the phone as well. Now, it starts off with questions like, are you insured? And if yes, kind of what's your insurance? You're going to select that from the list. So, I mean, these are all the US kind of healthcare providers. So I'm going to not go through this entire process, but I also have a choice. If I don't want to use my healthcare insurance, I can actually do it without going through my provider. Okay, let's get out of this because uh, for I make an appointment, I don't need to make. Final option is explore. And essentially, this has got a whole bunch of stuff besides articles and videos. It's actually got specific programs that you can do. You can actually enable them. For example, relaxation, meditation. Now, I will say some of them are free usage for a certain period and then you've got to pay for it. Um, some of them are just basically free altogether just go through the list and see the one that you want to help with that you want that you need help with and select it the sky to sleep music is pretty cool just basically find a cool sound and push play and then you've also got this little timer that says after a certain number of minutes obviously switch everything off so a nice bedtime in fact it even, it even has bedtime stories as well so this app has been around for a while it's just been updated it used to be called the s health app and that I've already had on my Galaxy S6 phone, and it's been around for a while. If you've got a Galaxy phone, go search for it. You probably have it. And if it's your first time here, welcome. This is what we do here. Gadget apps, tips and tricks. So consider hitting that head below to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Check out some of these other cool videos down here. And I'll see you on the next episode, because that's Tech Simple. Cheers for now.